हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियर ऑनलाइन ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ वन माय स्टूडेंट लेट अस सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम गेट 2013 क्वेश्चन नंबर 32 ए हाई प्रेशर डेयरी होमोजेनाइजर ऑपरेट्स अंडर अपस्ट्रीम एंड डाउनस्ट्रीम प्रेशर ऑफ 240 बार रेस्पेक्टिवली होमोजेनाइजिंग 30 लीटर ऑफ होल मिल्क पर आवर डेंसिटी एंड स्पेसिव हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ होल मिल्क आर 1030 केजी पर मीटर क्यूब एंड 3.8 किलो जूल पर केजी पर केल्विन रेस्पेक्टिवली एज्यूमिंग कंप्लीट एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन द टेंपरेचर राइज ऑफ होल मिल्क इन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज दिस लेट अस गो टू द सॉल्यूशन पार्ट दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम यू कैन जस्ट नो द यूनिट कन्वर्शन देन यू कैन जस्ट सॉल्व दिस इजीली सो लेट अस गो टू द सॉल्यूशन पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज होमोजेनाइजेशन इन होमोजेनाइजेशन एक्चुअली द मिल्क इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द फैट इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द मिल्क एक्चुअली सो इन दिस केस इफ यू सी द मिल्क इज कमिंग हियर Uh, in, into the uh, homogenizer, then due to the pressure drop in the inside the homogenizer, the mi homogenized milk is out at the uh, outlet. So there is a valve and uh, impact ring. So air actually is mixed properly due to the impact. And there is a seat so that uh, pressure is dropped actually. In this case, the pressure drop in the upstream and downstream uh, is given. So first is upstream is given. There is 200 bar. A pressure is given, inlet pressure, and outlet pressure or downstream pressure is given. There is 40 bar. So the pressure uh, is uh, difference in the case of this uh, homogenizer little del C. That is equal to 200 minus 40. That is 160 bar. So you can convert it 160 bar to newton per meter square. That is 160 bar is equal to. Uh, You can say 160 into 10 to the power 5 pascal, which is in turn you can say pascal is newton per meter square. So 160 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square. So next is the uh, milk flow rate. That is Q. So it's given 30 liter per hour. 30 liter per hour uh, milk is going inside the homogenizer and it is coming also 30 liter per hour. So what happens actually when the milk is going and the beating is taking place due to the uh, impact ring and valve? So there will be a small change in temperature in the milk. So now let us see how much energy is convert converted. First of all, the pressure in, uh, energy. So in this case, first of all, you find out the Q is given. That is 30 liter per hour. You can convert it into cubic meter per hour. That is 30. Into 10 to the power minus 5, uh, 3 uh, cubic meter per hour because one liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter. So next is the pressure energy. How much pressure energy is converted? Pressure energy uh, change in pressure energy is equal to you can say E P. So that is that is equal to change in pressure into flow of uh, that is the Discharge of the milk in this case. So, if you see, find out the pressure energy that is equal to uh, change in pressure is 160 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square into uh, Q is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per hour. So, if you say meter square and meter cube cancelled out, and uh, you can find out it is. 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 joule per hour because newton into meter is newton into meter is joule and per hour so this is the pressure energy which has to be converted into heat energy so now first of all what is heat energy heat energy you can say which is uh, conserved by the uh, change in temperature in the milk so milk temperature increase or heat is absorbed by the milk So that will be let it E H. That is how much? That is m dot C del T. What is m dot? M dot is the mass flow rate of the milk. That is 30 liter per hour. You would convert it into mass. That is kg per hour. So first of and C is the specific heat energy of the uh, milk. That is uh, given. That is 10 uh, 3.8 kilo joule per kg. So Kelvin. And del T is that change in temperature in Kelvin. So you can call. Same as that change in temperature in degree Celsius. So let us see how to, what is the value of m dot or mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is the uh, discharge into the density. Discharge is 
already we know here this is 30 into 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per hour into uh, rho density is uh, 1030 kg per cubic meter so cubic meter cubic meter cancelled out so that will be equal to 330 into 1.03 kg per hour so this is the uh, mass flow rate of the mill so putting into that the heat energy will be equal to m is 30 into 1.03 kg per hour and uh, c is uh, 3.8 kilojoule kilojoule ke badle mein we can take it 10 to the power 3 so joule uh, because 1 kilojoule is 10 to the 3 joule uh, uh, per kg per kelvin so this is the into del t in this case change in temperature we have to find out so now for the uh, perfect conservation of energy eh should be equal to ep so pressure energy should be equal to heat energy therefore putting these two uh, values uh, or uh, balancing each other so you can find out the del t so therefore uh, first is 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 joule per hour should be equal to 30 into 1.03 into 38 into 10 to the power 3 joule uh, into 10, uh, del t del t and into the uh, keep the all the units together kg per hour into joule per kg kelvin so if you see kg is kg is cancelled out there will be joule uh, there is joule per hour kelvin so find out del t so del t will be equal to 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 divided by 30 into 1.03 into 38 into 10 to the power 3 so then uh, joule joule cancelled out so this is joule and joule and uh, also hour cancelled out therefore the del t will be equal to 4.8 sorry into 10 divided by 3 into 1.03 into 3.8 so it will be equal to 4. Point 4.087 so that will be in kelvin so this is very simple if you calculate then the value will be equal to 4.807 uh, kelvin which is equivalent to uh, because since this is the change in temperature so you can call it uh, 4.087 degree celsius so this should be the answer for this question so you uh, i hope you understand this question